Today's practice is aimed at helping you achieve a healthy body weight, losing a little belly fat, and boosting your energy and immune system, all in 15 minutes. Okay, let's start in an easy, comfortable seat with a calming breath exercise called 446 breathing. It's a great way to relax your nervous system. It will help you boost your immune system and it'll help you manage stress all day long. All we do is inhale for a count of four through the nose, hold for a count of four, and exhale for a count of six all through the nose, okay? I'll guide you through it. So let's sit up nice and tall, lift the crown of your head to the sky, open across your heart and lungs, and let the shoulders melt from your ears. And close your eyes. You can place your hands anywhere they feel nice. And let's take a great big breath in through the nose. Really fill your body with breath. Open mouth, exhale and relax. And inhale through the nose for two, three, four. Hold two, three, four. And exhale through the nose. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale through the nose. Two three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and exhale through the nose, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale through the nose, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, exhale through the nose, two, three, four, five, six, and one more. Inhale through the nose, two, three, four and hold two three four exhale through the nose two three four five six come back to a natural breath in and out through your nose and just relax soften all the muscles of your face your cheeks and your jaw Continue to sit tall, but let the shoulders melt from the ears and just breathe. Place both hands over your heart and let's welcome ourselves to practice today with some words of affirmation. I'll say these words out loud and you repeat them silently to yourself. Today, I set myself on a course of love and compassion. Today, I will appreciate every opportunity to learn, to laugh, and to love. May this practice give me strength and courage to make this world a happier place. Let's sit for another moment. And just be and breathe. And blink your eyes slowly. Open hands to the, ne the knees. Let's take some big circles around the hips with the spine. You can move in any direction you wish to start. We're going to go both ways. And there's no rules here. Just we're welcoming some space and some breath into the hips so breathe into the low back and the hips and just move in a way that feels natural and easy for you you can roll your head around a little bit and take it in the opposite direction i really love this motion in the morning. It just feels so good in my low back and hips. Big full breaths as we move. And coming to stillness, let's make our way to tabletop. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And from here, curl your toes. Lift your hips to downward dog. Pedal your feet, bend one knee and draw the opposite heel down to earth. Welcome your hands and feet to move around a little bit, finding a stable and strong position for downward dog that feels good in your body. And then coming to stillness, great big breath in, 
open mouth exhale. <sighs> All right, we're going to do a variation of Hindu push ups together. These are a great cardio and full body fitness exercise, and they're fun. So just listen and follow along. Inhale, wave your body forward to plank pose. Keeping your butt nice and low, draw the right knee forward, try to touch the right tricep with the knee and step it back. Keeping your butt low, try to draw the left knee forward, touch the left tricep, step it back. From here, come down to your knees and elbows, elbows underneath the shoulders. And staying on your knees, shift your body forward and down to a low push-up, chest just hovering above the mat. Staying on the knees, inhale, push up. And exhale, lower all the way down. Sink your hips back to your heels, child's pose. Awesome work. We're going to do that three more times with the breath. Inhale, forward, tabletop. Curl the toes lift the hips downward dog as you inhale wave your body forward plank pose keeping the butt low draw the right knee forward touch the right tricep step it back keeping the butt low left knee forward touch the left tricep step it back come down to the knees and elbows elbows underneath the shoulders staying on the knees shift forward low push up inhale push yourself up on the knees and exhale come all the way down Hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale, forward, tabletop, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. As we inhale, wave forward to plank pose, keeping the butt low, right knee forward, touch right tricep, step it back. Left knee forward, touch the left tricep, step it back. Come down to the knees and elbows underneath the shoulders, staying on the knees, shift forward and down, low push up. Staying on the knees, inhale, push up and exhale all the way down to your belly. Hips to heels, child's pose. One more, you got this. Inhale forward, tabletop. Curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Wave your body forward, plank pose. Butt stays low, right knee forward, touch the right tricep. Step it back, left knee forward, touch the left tricep. Step it back. Come down to the knees and elbows, elbows underneath the shoulders. Staying on the knees, low push up. Hovering just above the mat, staying on the knees, push up. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down to your belly and sink your hips back to your heels. Child's pose, awesome work. Inhale, come forward, tabletop, curl the toes under, lift the hips, downward dog, and begin walking your hands slowly back towards your feet, bend into the knees, and at the back of the mat, start to roll yourself up to standing. Let the upper body hang heavy. And come to standing with your hands on your hips. We're going to work through some Hindu squat variations. Again, great full body fitness and cardio exercise. And they're fun. <laughs> they are fun when we do them together, right? Feet hip distant apart. As you exhale, bend into the knees, reach your hands forward and come down to a deep squat so that your thighs are parallel to the mat weight and the heels will, will stay here for a good breath. And then inhale, push into the heels, rise up hands to the hips. We're going to do that 10 times with the breath. Here we go. Exhale, bend into the knees nice and deep, thighs parallel to the mat, weight in the heels. Inhale, push up for one. Nice. Exhale, come down. Nice and deep, feel the weight in the heels. Push up for two. Exhale down. Let's settle in, stay here for a good solid breath. Inhale, push up for three. Exhale, come down. Nice and deep, thighs parallel to the mat. Push up for four. Great work, exhale, come down. Feel the weight in the heels here, reaching forward. And push up for five, we're halfway there. You got this, exhale, come down. Feel it, a little warmth in the thighs, right? Push up for six. Exhale, come down, nice and deep. Feel the weight in the heels, relax your face. Push up for seven. Exhale, come down, feel it at the bottom here. Push up for eight. Exhale, come down, feel the heart starting to increase a little bit, this is good. Push up for nine and one more. Exhale, come down, and let's settle in here for a couple breaths. So thighs parallel to the mat. Smile in, in your heart. Breathe for three, two, one. Inhale, push through those heels and shake it out, shake it out. Awesome, awesome work. 
big breath, reach your hands into the sky, palms meet, and as you exhale, take the palms straight down through the center and take a bow, bending into the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, walk your hands back to the top of the mat, downward dog, and as you inhale, wave your body forward to plank pose. Hold plank pose for a moment, firm the belly, firm the thighs and the butt, keeping your butt low. Come down to the forearms and elbows for forearm plank. Extend the crown of your head forward and the heels back to make your spine nice and long and really push into the earth here so that your upper back rounds a little bit and you feel that belly nice and firm and strong. Keep breathing and hold the shape for three, two, one. Exhale, let the hips and thighs come down, untuck the toes, and sphinx pose. Elbows under the shoulders, spread the fingers wide, lift your upper body, and as you exhale, grip the mat and pull energetically pull the mat towards you as you push your heart forward. Draw the shoulders back and down from the ears and push gently into the tops of the feet and breathe. So good for the back. Exhale, slowly come down. And hips to heels, child's pose. Great work, my friends. Sit back to your heels, sweep your legs around in front. Let's end with a little hamstring and hip opener here. Janyu Shirshasana. Extend the right leg long, bring the sole of the left foot inside that right thigh. And as you inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, fold forward with a nice long spine and a flat low back. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Flatten through the low back as you exhale, fold and keep doing that. Lengthening on the inhale, deepening on the exhale until you find a good amount of stretch for you. And you just hang out there for a breath or two. Relax into it. Inhale, slowly rise. Plant the left hand behind you. Lift your hips and really push into that left hand to lift up through the heart. Reach your right hand up and over. Continue to push into the left hand, arching through the upper back. Reach through the right fingertips. Great big breath. Exhale, slowly lower. All right, other side, extend the left leg long. Right foot comes inside the left thigh. And with a great big breath, reach up, lift up tall through the spine. Exhale, fold, and let's do that little dance with the breath on this side, lifting and lengthening on the inhale. And exhale as we fold with a nice flat low back. Continue like that, finding your sweet spot on this side and rest there for a breath or two. Inhale, rise. Plant the right hand behind you. Lift the hips and really push into that right hand as you push and open the heart here. Extend through the left fingertips. Feel the heart opening to the sky. Great big breath. Exhale, lower. Come all the way down to your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a great, big, loving, sweet hug here. Getting yourself, filling yourself up with some self-love for the day. Take your feet up in the air. Happy baby. Grab the outside edges of the feet. Gently pull down on the feet so your low back and shoulders draw down toward the mat. Breathe in the blue sky. Breathe out worry and tension. Breathe in love and self-trust. Breathe out self-doubt. One more big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release your feet and let's find Shavasana together.
bring some movement into your fingers and toes, your wrists and ankles. With a great big breath, reach your hands overhead and stretch. Exhale, knees into chest and roll to your right side. And push yourself up to a seat. At the top of your mat, bring your eyes to close and palms together at your heart. And let's raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow. And we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Thank you for sharing that practice with me. And if you didn't know, this class is part of a free 30-day morning yoga challenge. It's just 15 minutes a day, and it will make an incredible difference in your health and well-being. And if you're not already signed up for this challenge, I would love for you to join me. Just click the first link in the video description below and sign up. It's totally free. And if you are already enjoying this challenge with me and you're enjoying my classes, then I think you would really love the David O. Yoga app. You'll get hundreds of classes and programs, including this 30-day challenge, ad-free, all designed to help you develop a safe, effective, and consistent yoga practice that you really enjoy and that you look forward to every day. Just click the second link in the video description below to download the David O. Yoga app. It'll help you get so much more out of your yoga practice.